against the peace and dignity of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. As said, this was returned just a few minutes ago in open court. Uh, Judge Clymer scheduled uh, January the 16th at 8.30 for the arraignment of these two individuals. And let me further say that this indictment uh, came this morning after a uh, very extensive investigation that was spearheaded by the Attorney General Jack Conway, uh, buying through his Special Investigations and Public Integrity Unit. Uh, this grand jury heard the results of that investigation and over a period of three days uh, listened to several witnesses, uh, viewed several exhibits, and made their decision based upon the testimony of the witnesses and their review uh, of the uh, exhibits. Um, that's really all I can say other than the offense charged uh, is a Class D felony, punishable upon conviction uh, by no less than one year or five years in the penitentiary. This is merely a charge. Uh, the defendants are presumed innocent. Uh, and I'll now take a few questions. Uh, if I can answer them, I will. And if I can't, I'll also state that. How will Mr. Harness and Mr. Newberry be notified of this? Uh, I requested and the court granted my request to have summons issued uh, for them to appear at their arraignment uh, on the 16th. Will they get that summons today? Or? That, in all likelihood, but I don't want to speak for the, uh, the circuit clerk. Uh, the paperwork, the indictment will be presented uh, to that office, and they're in charge of the paperwork as far as logging in the indictment, establishing a, a case number, and also issuing the summons. Uh, after the arraignment, um, what's the next step after that? Normally, uh, after an arraignment, there's a, there's a designated date established for a pretrial conference. Uh, during the time of the arraignment to the pretrial conference, the uh, Commonwealth is obligated to provide to defense counsel uh, what we call discoverable information. Uh, that's a copy of the grand jury tape that, that uh, was maintained during the course of the grand jury proceedings that uh, uh, recorded the testimony of the witnesses. Uh, any case reports that have been provided to me by the Attorney General's office, any exhibits that uh, were viewed by the grand jury, this has to be provided to uh, counsel also. Uh, 